Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. Today, let's talk about COVID-19 and the medical coverage for it. But before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like button below and share this video with your friends. And most importantly of, not, of all, please don't forget to subscribe this, to this channel and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I come up with a new video. So, let's start. Um, at the beginning, when the pandemic started, a lot of uh, companies issued circulars to their agents and their customers informing them that they will be covering all the medical expenses should, they be, uh, should the customers be uh, infected with COVID-19. And this has happened over the, the last 12 months until when the government declared an, a state of emergency so that they can send these patients to private hospitals. At that particular time, uh, the president, uh, so president of the Association of Private Hospitals, Dr. Kujit Singh, came out to say that most of the insurance companies do not cover um, treatments due to a pandemic, uh, which actually is true because um, the, there's a clause in a lot of uh, medical insurance that says that they do not cover, uh, that they exclude diseases that require quarantine by law. So the COVID-19 is one of them. Therefore, af after this announcement, the insurance companies who has issued a letter, uh, a letter or circular to their customers and agents saying that they will, um, they will cover the, the medical expenses have issued another new uh, circular to say that they will not, or to acknowledge this particular clause and then to say that to be in alignment with the industry practice, they will not cover COVID-19. And at the same time, these insurance companies, and should I say all insurance companies have come together to discuss together with Bank Negara and the Ministry of Health on how to handle this so that they will be able to provide this coverage for their customers. But so, what do we do in the meantime? I guess the best, the best solution is to follow what the Director General of, uh, of Health has advised us. If you're tested positive, stay at home. Let the ambulance come and take you to the government facilities. And if they find that there's no facility available for you, they will allocate you to be sent to a private hospital. In terms of the charges, at the moment, nobody knows yet whether you need to pay for it or it will be borne by the insurance or the government. So I hope to keep you up to date whenever uh, they have come up with a solution. And um, in the meantime, please, please stay at home, take care of yourself and wash your hands. And I will be updating you whenever I get any new information. Till the next time, goodbye for me. Bye-bye.